So much of my work is you know, inspired by growing up as a child of immigrants. My parents are both immigrants. Uh, my father's from Egypt and my mother's from Honduras. And I use those cultural references and icons as inspiration. You know, it's sort of like a place to start. The work that I do, there's uh, references to ancient Egypt, ancient Mayan, um, but then there's things like, you know, a Bismarcky quote or, <laughs> or you know, Cardi B quote. Um, I think a lot about history, you know, in a, ver in a micro way, right? Like my own personal history, the history of, the, of that moment as I'm making the work, you know, the history of the piece and layering and collage and, you know, building up this layered work definitely serves as an analogy of something that's macro. When you commit to living on this planet, you are committing to the, the layering of history. Something that I do very often is use older work to incorporate into newer work. Like if I tear away at something or if I cut away at, at a piece, that layer that was in the past, it's revealed again and it changes the landscape of the work, it changes the quality of the paint. So yeah, I mean, I think that there's a lot of analogous to what's happening, you know, today and, you know, the conversations about history and what to include and what not to include. and. You know, and, and history is one of those things that, you know, it's told from the perspective of the folks in power. Like, we, we just have to always kind of have that in mind, I think. Making work that pushes people to consider their place in the world and making work where I'm considering my own place in the world, I think is so vital, you know, to continue conversations and to um, push for change, you know, ultimately.